Why the hero with a thousand faces? Well, because there is a certain typical hero sequence of actions, um, which can be detected in stories from all over the world and from many, many periods of history. And uh, I think it's uh, essentially, you might say, the one deed done by many, many different people. Why are there so many stories of the hero or of heroes in mythology? Well, because that's what's worth writing about. I mean, even in, in uh, popular novel writing, you see, these, the main character is a hero or a heroine. That is to say, someone who has found or achieved or done something beyond the normal range of uh, achievement and experience. A hero properly is someone who has given his life to something bigger than himself or other than himself. So in all of these cultures, whatever the costume the hero might be wearing, what is the deed? Well, there are two types of deed. One is the physical deed, the hero who has performed a, a war act or a physical act of heroism, saving a life, that's a hero act. Uh, giving himself, sacrificing himself uh, to another. And the other kind is the uh, spiritual hero who has uh, learned or found a, uh, a mode of um, experiencing the, uh, the supernormal range of human uh, spiritual life and then come back and communicated it. It's a cycle. It's a going and a return that the hero cycle represents. But then this can be seen also in the simple initiation ritual, where a child has to give up his childhood and become an adult, has to die, you might say, to its infantile personality and psyche and come back as a self-responsible adult. It's a fundamental experience that everyone has to undergo. We're in our childhood for at least 14 years, and then to get out of that posture of dependency, psychological dependency, into one of psychological self-responsibility requires a death and resurrection. And that is the basic motif of the hero journey, leaving one condition, finding the source of life to bring you forth in a uh, richer or more mature or other condition. So that if we happen not to be heroes in the grand sense of redeeming <clears throat> society, we have to take that journey ourselves spiritually, psychologically inside us. That's right.